An iconic Pittsburgh restaurant is celebrating its 60th anniversary this summer. Lamont, the well-known five-star restaurant along Grandview Avenue on Mount Washington, is known for lots of things. Elegant cu cuisine. I don't know why that was a hard word for me. Elegant cuisine. That was very well said. The timeless <laughs> atmosphere and, of course, the special service and the view. Of course, the view. They're also known for hosting many weddings. And earlier in the show, Selena Pompiani talked about how weddings have evolved at Lamont since they opened their doors in 1960. Now she is talking food and cocktails. Good morning again, everyone. Since Lamont is celebrating their big 60th anniversary, they created a fabulous 60th anniversary dinner special menu, plus a really new fun bar menu too. Take a look. Everybody loves the rack of lamb and the raspberry duck and things that are special to us here. Lamont is running the special 60th anniversary historical menu through October 31st. It's a five course meal featuring house specialties over the years. You'll also receive a complimentary glass of house wine or champagne to celebrate all for $60. Now, if you are just looking to come up for an appetizer and a cocktail, General Manager Danny Fingers has more tasty options to share on their bar menu. We have filet kebabs on there, which are fantastic. Filet sliders, also very, very good. Those are probably our top two sellers. Top sellers when it comes to drinks? So right now, um, bourbons are really hot. So a lot of old style cocktails have come back into play. Finker says rye is also pretty popular, which is on the spicier side compared to bourbon. Old fashions are big, um, Manhattans are big, and then right now a lot of people are adding their own touches to them, again with either uh, flavored bitters or certain herbs or, um, you know, craft crafty cocktails are big fingers tells me some customers will always ask for margaritas or white russians they also have an eclectic wine and beer list and when it comes to martinis well they're always a favorite at lamont we'll step right up to my old stomping ground <laughs> we're gonna do the outer pair so again about two parts pear vodka one part saint germain outer flower liqueur splash of sweet and sour. Put that lid on. Get our orange into our nice frosted Ooh. martini glass. The most important part. The important part. And as we pour that, we're gonna top it with Prosecco. Oh, yes, thanks, there Danny. You go. The elder pear martini. Elder pear martini. Cheers. It's delicious. <laughs> What's next? The blackberry bourbon smash is next. So we're going to take our fresh mint. We're going to take our blackberries. A little bit of chambord. Now for the muddle. Get all these flavors in there. This is an important process. It's too. a very important process, yes. Yeah. Okay, do some fresh lime. You've been doing this for years. You're a pro. You don't That's even need it. to measure. I do not measure, no. A little splash of club soda. This is where it all started for me. <laughs> Beautiful. The garnish, it just adds a little something. It does, it does. It definitely does. Put a little blackberry in there. Ooh. There you go. You're fast, Danny. <laughs> okay, here we go. The blackberry bourbon smash. Usually I'm not a fan of bourbon. That is pretty good. Cheers, everyone.
<laughs> yeah, there's my girl. <laughs> Cheers, Selena. All right. And we want to thank Lamont for sponsoring today's segments and for feeding us because yes. look, they sent us this food and they sent us. So this is the elder pear martini. And you're going to pour because right. I think you're better equipped to do this. Well, I, 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 I yeah, cocktail glasses I'm used to. This is your um, thing. This is my thing. So this is uh, pear vodka, St. Germain, and then the finisher, the topper is Prosecco and we have this little bubbly. Ooh, we have this lovely uh, cranberry pecan brie as well, which we've been digging into. Yeah, it's we already not, sampled it. It's delicious. It's not very TV friendly to eat, so we, we started crunching. Yeah. Okay. Should we cheers, cheers to you? Cheers and we to do you and we, to Lamont. We are cheersing, uh, but we do want to say something very serious here because we want to give a special toast to Chef mm -hmm. Robert Vargo. Mm -hmm. Lamont asked us if we would make special mention and dedicate today's segment to Executive Chef Robert Vargo, who passed away on August 22nd. Yeah, Chef Vargo worked at Lamont for more than 30 years. He also served in the Army in Iraq as the personal chef to General Norman Schwarzkopf during the first Gulf War. And and Chef Robert was a talented and dedicated and creative chef who will be greatly missed by his Lamont family and customers. Uh, and we wanted to uh, give him recognition right yeah. now because he's someone that uh, was very important to the Lamont family and, and made a real difference. And we know that they are still grieving the loss of him. Yeah, so our sympathy to uh, Chef Vargo's family and friends and colleagues at Lamont.